Hello, is this thing on? Ho, ho, ho. You might remember me from such Soulsborne challenge videos as Can you one-shot Medea with a shield? And Can you beat Dark Souls with emotes only? In the spirit of Christmas and the festive season, I thought I'd do something different and give you all a little gift. Instead of making a challenge run video, I'm going to show you how you can make your very own Soulsborne challenge run video, because I am indeed a generous god. So, I guess, in a way, this is a challenge video. Can you make a video explaining how to make a Soulsborne challenge video? Um, with video only? Wait, didn't that guy already do a video like this? Yeah, but, like, his is actually good. 1. Pick a game Eeny meeny miny mo. Watch me crank it, watch me roll Watch me crank that soldier boy then superman that Oh. 2. Decide on a challenge run by picking ideas out of a shoe The shoe is important as it provides a spiritual connection to our holy footlord Miyazaki Can you beat Bloodborne with pebbles only? Huh. 3. Strategize This is the stage when you should plan your run. Research what items you need, which side quests to complete if any, and how to level. Or just do what I do and wing it and hope for the best. Four. Play the damn game. Yeah, what I just said a few seconds ago. Do the challenge run, I can't really help you there. But, all I'll say is that you don't have to be some kind of gaming god. You just need a bit of persistence. Like, a lot of persistence. Approximately 60 metric fucktons of persistence. Recording it helps as well. I actually prefer to record directly onto my PS5 where possible. But, for some games, OBS just gives better results. The main reason I tell you this is to brag about my PS5. Okay, are you done yet? 5. Review and organise the footage. Watch over everything, noting down important events and details in the order they happen, and rename your clips so you can identify easily what's in them. I prefer to keep my clips under 30 minutes each so I can easily pinpoint where the footage I need is when I'm editing. This process can eat my hairy salted nutsack. Twice. 6. Write your script. I like to start with an intro, where I explain the basics of the run and make sure I set the bar low for the rest of the vid, because I wouldn't want anyone to think they're in for anything other than lowbrow sarcastic humour and painfully average gameplay. Then, I break stuff down into chapters and talk through the events of the playthrough, with a mixture of practical advice and terrible jokes that often just boil down to me giving everyone stupid names. Haha, <laughs> look, it's old beaky feather pants. If I think of visual jokes, I'll insert them into the script as footnotes. 7. Record your voiceover. I like to use a microphone for this, but screaming into the void while invoking the spirits of your dead ancestors may work too. Use your recording software of choice as well. Or the void again. Then, add some basic vocal processing. I usually go back and review this once I'm done with the main edit. Everyone's voice is different, and there isn't a catch-all magic setting, but you generally can't go wrong with a noise gate, some EQ to roll off the low end, and a compressor to even everything out nice and smooth like Frida's feet. Mmm. Then, add more EQ according to your voice, and a limiter to stop things peaking. 8. Time to edit. Personally, I use Premiere Pro, because I'm familiar with it, but I'm not getting paid to say that, so use what the hell you want. First, I import my voiceover, and then start finding footage to match what I'm saying, and laying it out. Scene cuts are usually done in time with me starting a new phrase, unless it's a musical section, in which case they're timed to the music for extra style points. If there's specific B-roll footage I need, I'll go back and capture it at this stage. Then, I work on all the extra edits using a mixture of Photoshop and Premiere, and throw in the odd little bit of fancy graphics. 
finally, it's the bit everyone actually likes. The music. I tend to go for something more whimsical during sections where I'm speaking and switch it up to something energetic for musical montages. The most important thing is that I need the change ups between tracks to be smooth, so I always cut on the beat and then adjust the rest of the edit to fit properly. Some final touches and you're done. Easy. Who guess, but actually no. This shit devours your soul. But at least you get a shiny new video for your troubles. Like this one. 9. The finished product. Pebbles. Perfect for getting the barman's attention in a busy pub. No true English gentleman would be seen dead without them. I am no true English gentleman, but fuck it, I'll give it a go anyway and try to answer the question. Can you beat London the game? <clears throat> I mean, can you beat Bloodborne with pebbles only? Buckle up, because this might get quite thrilling. An old man touched me inappropriately. I turned myself into a fine upstanding specimen of manhood. Wolfie got out of a hot bath and asked me for a towel, and it was time to wake up in the clinic, as I have done many times before. Wolf skip time next, because I hate myself. And if you want a more detailed breakdown of how this works, check out my Bloodborne Hunter Tools only vid. But here's the highlights package. One hour later, I nailed the skip, first try. Opened up the gate and got my revenge on Scooby-Doo. I'd sure like to fist him. Then I entered the clinic through the tradesman's entrance to obtain one free insight, said hi to wifey, and went down to the poison pool and through to the woods, grabbing all of the cold bloods en route. That's pretty much the only reason I came here, so I returned to the dream, popped all my echoes, and maxed out on pebbles from the cute face hole men. Then, I spent the rest of my pocket change on levelling up, focusing on strength to maximise the mighty pebbles A scaling. With the setup out of the way, it was time for the main event. So, I travelled back to Yarnum, grabbed the lamp, and spoke to Dilbert, Ah. Then I did the Yarnum Dash, grabbed the latest Supreme Drops, spoke to the girl for the music box. Ah. Part 2. Knocked down the Saw Spear and went to find Beaky Blinders. Uh. Well, that was all very successful. Finally, I unlocked the elevator shortcut and used my favourite little trick to cheese the bridge hooligans for some free vials. And it was boss time. First enemy, let's get him! You can't beat Bloodborne with pebbles only. Obviously. As the end of my video within a video, uh, ended, it was over. I'd made a video about how to make a video, something, 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 etc. And now you know all of my secrets. So unfortunately, I have to get rid of you. Luckily, there's some treasure just over there. Go on, take a look. 